Hello. Finally Friday, and today is jumper Christmas Day. I I don't have a jumper, but you know, just let's make a nice video because I seen online in the comments the people asking why I'm always using the multimeter on the diode mode. Yeah. This this is a good question. Yeah. Because. Um, We'll do a small experiment here, so we'll try to figure it out, because obviously we are working and fixing things, which we don't have schematics, and most of the time you don't have schematics, yeah, you are fixing uh, TVs, laptops, uh, DVDs, uh, audio things, you know, you don't have schematics for all these kind of things, so you'll have to figure it out that, that's what we are doing we, are, we try to figure it out the schematic when we are checking something like a motherboard yeah you have a motherboard and what you'll do you will check mainly the the power rails yeah because most of the folds by like 90% of the folds are on the power rails you know the things which are there under pressure, a lot of amps, switching, yeah, the faults are there, okay? And you'll check, you'll check the, the power supplies, you'll check the MOSFETs, you'll check all, yeah? Everything related with the power, mainly, mainly, yeah? Multimeter, because many ask, you know, you have a resistor, where well, check on diode mode, or... Uh, you check up for a short on a diode mode. Why you don't check with the multimeter on ohm mode, which is like it's logical, normal. You have want to find the resistance of that power line to to, to see if it's shorted or not. It's very logical. Like, yeah, you're right, but doesn't really work like that. So when I check our power line. I don't want to see only if it's shorted, or okay, I want to see if it's shorted, but I will not let the motherboard to trick me, yeah? So let's do a small experiment. We have the multimeter on screen. This will be a short video. Uh, okay, let's go on off mode, yeah? Now it's down mode, let's go on off mode. So we are checking the resistance, that's, that's what we are using the multimeter on the... O mode, yeah? What do we have here? We have a resistance. I use a um, adjustable resistor just to set up a fixed resistance. I don't have one kilo ohm resistor here, I'm sorry. So we have a one kilo ohm resistor and this is a power line. Your power line. Yeah? Give me a power line. Maybe you can only check the resistor, yeah? Maybe it's the 19 volts power rail on the laptop. Maybe it's the 3.3. Maybe it's the 5 volts. Yeah. Maybe it's, I don't know, any. So what you'll do, you switch the multimeter on all mode and you check. Checking. Now you have to tell me what your multimeter is saying. Check that on the screen here. Here. So our circuit resistance is one kilo. So you understand what is on this bag? This is our our trick. This is our our secret. That's is is it's it, it's a secret for you because this is the, the the rest of the laptop which you have no idea why it's there. So this is the rest of the circuit. Yeah, you don't have schematics. You don't know what is there. You can know only if you follow the tracks. If you check the tracks, you can uh, find exactly what is connected on this power rail. Yeah. So uh, we don't know what is there. We'll try to figure it out. Yeah. So this is a power rail, and we try to figure it out if that power rail is good or not. Okay. So one more time, the resistance, one kilo ohm, you can see there. Let's spin these things to be sure. I don't know why I'm doing this, but let's, let's just do it. 
same thing, one kilo ohm. Now, now listen. Yeah. Please go in the comments right now. You look on my eyes, yeah, and you write there the resistance of this circuit. Yeah, you can do it. I'm waiting for you. So, what is the resistance of this shear circuit based on the, our uh, multimeter reading? It's one kilo ohm. Yeah, now let's do some uh, mathematics. One kilo ohm for my power supply, I have 10 volts. 10 volts, 1 kilo ohm, that means that the, 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 this power rail, it will draw around 10 milliamps, yeah? So that's right. So my, my power rail is not shorted. 10 milliamps is not a short, yeah? 10 milliamps is not a short. I'm not using the dial mode yet. So what you will do next... <clears throat> Next, you will try to be a pro. So you come with the power supply on that power rail. 10, 10 volts. The current limit is 1 amp. So if I short this, I can see that it's 1 amp. So we have a current limit, 1 amp. Yeah? Because it's safe to have a current limit. If I will not have a current limit, I will have like 5 amps. Something will blow up probably. Or not based on what the multimeter is saying so i should have like 10 milliamps so my circuit has to draw 10 milliamps based on the fact we have one kilo ohm and we have 10 volts on the power supply so let's see look what's there he's drawing one amp one amp 10 volts wow just wow one amp and five volts yeah one amp five volts we have five ohms so uh, no way jose how this is possible so i don't, I don't get it we checked with the multimeter and we have one more time I'm not touching the wires. We have one kilo ohm, you can see that? On the multimeter, one kilo ohm. So one kilo ohm is supposed to draw 10 milliamps. But I got like the power supply, it's, it's going on the protection mode, it's just lowering the voltage to five volts. And I have five ohms, five ohms. Not one kilo ohm, five ohms. So one more time. So that is 5 volts 1 amp because that's the limit. Let's spin this and we have we have we have like 1 volt and 1 amp. That means the circuit resistance is 1 ohm based on ohm law. So you see how easy you can go wrong. You see, that, 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 that's the catch. It's so easy, you can go wrong using the multimeter. Using the multimeter on the ohm law. On the ohm scale, yeah? Sorry. So you got it now? It's, that's why I'm using always the multimeter on the diode mode. Because diode mode can tell me a little bit more. So if I switch now the multimeter on the diode mode... Zero point four. So my circuit is just passing zero point four volts. Yeah. So if I ask you now, what do we have here? And why this happen? What component do we have here? Huh? What component do we have there? Zero point four. What component do we have there? Look, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Just go in the comments and write there. So what component do we have there? So what do we have there? Why that happen? 
Huh? You see, it's, it's tricky. It's, it's just a trick and a very important one. That's the thing. This is very important. And 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 I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure a hundred percent, a hundred percent from all the users, they will write there. We have a diode. True. That's what it's on your mind. We have a diode. No, really. Yeah. So don't think like okay, you have a diode. No. Think. You have a junction. That's very important. Yeah, to make the difference. So you have a PN junction there. You have a PN junction. You don't have a dial. You don't have nothing else. You have a PN junction. Okay. Just based on these things. Based on the, actually the yeah. We have like a high resistance. And uh, on one side uh, with the diode mode we have like 0 0.4 volts. We have a junction. That can be anything. It can be a diode. can be a transistor. can be a LED. LED is a junction. It's not a silicium uh, junction. It's, a, I think, gallium uh, arsenide. Something like that. You can have... Uh, a MOSFET, you can have a yeah, MOSFET has a junction. Well, anyway, you, you can have a lot of things. So that's 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 how you diagnose the things, yeah, and try to figure it out before damaging the the board, before coming with the power supply. Okay, I'm sure there uh, it will be 10 milliamps, and when you come with the power supply, you find out actually something will blow up, so you burn the board. So it's just a small catch how you can use the diode mode to see more further. Yeah. So now I know on that side, which I can't see it, I don't know, because it's 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 on the trucks are going on the board, you know, you, you can't really figure it out. Just for in the first second. This is a, a time a, a time thing, yeah. You don't really have time, let's go on the resistance, let's go on the diode. You just come on the diode mode and you know exactly you have a problem there. On our case, we have just a, a MOSFET. Yeah? So, you see, that's how you can get easily tricked if you use uh, the multimeter on the old mode. And to be honest with you, in diode mode, you can check resistance up to 1 kilo ohm. I didn't... I, I don't think on the last more than five years I found like burn resistors like a burn 100 kilos resistor you know because on that point yeah you can find out only using the multimeter on home mode no really no maybe on the power supply one where actually is the the voltage is very high there you can find like high uh, ohms resistors like kilo ohms mega ohms but otherwise, no, you'll not find burn resistors. That's why I never, I never, I'm looking for uh, resistors. Okay, so I will stop now. I just give you an idea about why I'm using the multimeter on the dial mode. And uh, yeah, many ask on many videos, and I, I say you know, on some point I will do a video why I'm using the multimeter on dial mode. That's why. Because when you start doing a job, your first, first step is to figure it out the schematics. That's the first step, to know exactly what's going on there, where is going your truck, what is doing, what is, you know. That's what we are doing, we try to figure it out the schematics. Because otherwise, if you have the schematic, you go on the schematic, you can see exactly what is there. But most of the time, you don't have schematics. Even if you have schematic, just ignore the schematics and try to build up a skill, you know, like a, try to figure on your mind the schematic. Okay? So I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Next week. My last week. Before holiday. Yeah? Bye.